What's going on guys? So this is the first time I'm going to be taking camera gear out on a overnight trip. I'm on my way up right now, just pulled over to grab a sandwich at uh, Foodland. I'm biting the way up. Got Shenzi here with me, co-piloting. An extremely overloaded backpack in the back here. Just going for one night and I wanted to be comfortable and fun. I've, I've definitely done ultralight type trips but uh, it's supposed to rain. As you can see today, it's raining now. Uh, the forecast is five to 10, 90% chance of five to 10 millimeters. And I just pulled over here driving north and I think it's caught up to me. Uh, so we're gonna try and get ahead of it again on the highway. So for gear, I've got uh, an MEC Brio 75 liter pack that I've used quite a bit um, portaging and on other trips. I actually took it through Killarney the first time I went, which was a huge mistake. Just just the pack itself is way too much weight. And I've got all my gear, double dry bags. So I've got some uh, ultra thin uh, dry bags with my sleeping bag, um, sleeping pad, all that stuff. My clothes, all in separate bags, contained inside a pack liner. So it's double waterproof because it is just gonna pour rain today. I've got two tarps, uh, four season, TGV2 MEC tent, which I've also used quite extensively. It does have a rip in it, but they repaired it for me. And uh, this will be the first time I'm actually using the fly since the repair. So hopefully she uh, she holds out. And I've got a fair bit of food. I just want to be just going to have a good time and uh, eat well on this trip. I do have a rifle, Mini 14, and it's, uh, 80 rounds of 223. So a bit of weight there. I'm um, going to bring a couple beers, obviously, for after any shooting we do. I've got my inflatable pillow, all the luxuries, stuff that I don't normally bring uh, on my, you know, multi-day backcountry trips. Uh, yeah, the pack is quite heavy though, so it's supposed to be a chance of thunderstorms, but it's just going to downpour, and in my mind, you're not really, you're not a true backcountry camper if you if you hold yourself back from going on these trips uh, because of the forecast, because most of the time the forecast is wrong, I think it's going to be awesome. Even if it rains or it does not, it's cool, it's fairly windy, the bugs still won't be too bad. It is May 2 4 weekend here now, so it's hit and miss with the black flies and mosquitoes, but this might be the last good weekend uh, for me to get out and do a little trip. So, me and Shenzi are headed out in the Crown Land, and uh, Probably won't be too much DSLR from now on. It might be a quiet walkout because if I have to put my action camera in the waterproof case, the microphone doesn't work at all. So I'll see what uh, see what comes of it. It's the rain's kind of slowing down here a bit now, so I got full rain gear, which I don't normally do, but I just want to stay dry and comfortable. We'll see how fire making goes and all that stuff. You got to get out in inclement weather, though. That's uh, that's part of the whole deal. Because if you're in the middle of a trip and you get caught in this shit, you're gonna be miserable. So you might as well just learn how to enjoy it and go regardless of it. That's my theory, anyway. But I'll I'll talk to you guys in a bit. I'm gonna hit the road. You ready, Shenz? Shenzi, ready to go? Wanna go camping? Beautiful weather. is just spitting out right now it still hasn't started to rain heavily but I'm not gonna linger here I'm just gonna get my pack all squared away and uh, hit the trail I'm gonna throw the action cam in my pocket and I'll just pull that out and document the hike with that a couple mosquitoes here but nothing too bad I'll see you guys on the trail so I am quickly realizing that not putting on rain pants before I left was a bad idea I knew it would be the underbrush is just uh, soaking my pants, so I'm going to try and lean up against this tree here, put these on over my boots real quick, and get back on the trail. It is wet, and there are mosquitoes. What do you think, Shenz? What do you think, Shenz? Is it wet? Alright guys, loaded back up. 
rain pants on, ready for the hike. It's pouring. Pouring rain. I like it. Shenz, do you like it? Ready to go? So the mosquitoes are, uh, they're definitely out. As soon as you stop, they're on you. I just walked off the trail a little bit to uh, survey, survey a lake that I like to camp on. In uh, bug season in the past, it's had a good breeze on this point, and I can see the waves on the lake. It looks like it does right now. So that's where we're going. It's wet out here, that doesn't bother me. But if I can get a little reprieve from the bugs, I'll be happy. Shenzi, you happy? Shenzi, are you happy? It's just soup out here. Soup! Whew. We have arrived. Nice breeze here. Nice geese here. I don't know what this lake is called. It's just one of those small, probably terrible wind noise right now. I don't know what this lake is called. It's just one of those small, random lakes in Ontario. Shanzi's going down for a quick look. Eat some grass. Good idea, Shanzi. So I gotta find a spot to set up camp. There's a red canoe here. Some duck hunter comes here, I guess. That's what it looks like. Some, some old brass there. Steel shot. And the canoe over there in the trees. So I gotta find a flat spot in the wind that I can get my tarp set up here. It'll keep me uh, out of the bugginess. The buggy bug bugginess. Looks like this canoe spot is probably the best one, but I don't really want to use a ready-made campsite. Some decoys here. Looks like he accidentally shot one of them. Yep, definitely shot one of them by accident. Or someone did. A little bit of garbage there, whatevs. I think I'm gonna try set up here. I'm gonna move this guy's canoe. Get a couple of tarps up, clean it up a little bit here. And I think I'll put my tent right under this tree right here. Maybe. We'll talk about it in a minute. All right guys, camp is pretty much set up. I've uh, borrowed this, whoever's nice enough to lend me this canoe here. I'm going to set up a little lean-to shantytown type tarp rig here. It is quite wet out. Tent's all set up. Um, I'm just going to set up all my sleeping gear when I go to bed because I don't really feel like changing out of all this wet shit right now. All the rest of my stuff will probably get wet. I uh, moved the fire pit over to my little canoe shanty area. Says Crown Land, so you can do that. And it is—it's nice out here. Glad I came out. It's just gorgeous, but it is wet. So I'm starving. I want to toast up some ham and cheese or turkey and cheese, whatever I brought. But I got to try and get a fire going first. Well, this is about all the rain the DSLR can take. So I'm going to put you guys away. Light a fire. Bit of a shanty town type setup. I just don't have that Joe Robin A swag. <laughs> but I brought a lot of tarps, so I'm gonna be dry and comfortable. And hopefully I can light a fire. We'll talk to you guys in a bit. How you feeling, Shans? You wet? Fairly wet. Got the fire just a rock in here now. Chilling under my tarp. I got a nice little stick in there. Even more shantytown style. It's been dripping on me. I think I've finally got that problem alleviated. 
mostly salt. Still raining not too hard. The wind makes it sound like it's raining hard. Gonna try and slowly dry off here now. I'm wearing all brand new rain gear, fancy friggin' stuff that I don't normally like to wear, but it's wet out here and I'd be absolutely, completely soaked if I didn't have this stuff on. Yeah. Fire's rocking, hat's drying, I'm gonna have a snack and a beer. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do any shooting today. I feel bad enough for the Mini 14 that uh, it's completely soaked. I've got it tucked into the canoe over there. This guy is nice guy's canoe that I've borrowed for the ultimate shantytown tarp shelter setup. Some food, shanty. Yeah, I brought food for you too. The old girl. You want a snack? Shanty, want a snack? Oh, a good girl. For lunch today, the staff will be serving cheesy buns, a little bit of butter, some shaved smoked shave. Shaved smoked turkey and some really, really good, I think, Wookie Hole Cave Aged Farmhouse Cheddar. I think that's gonna make this sandwich. So, without further ado, I'm gonna put some of these together and probably toast them up on my no grill fire. Grillless toasting. So, I got my Mad Tom IPA, Muskoka Brewery, which I think this is my new favorite IPA. I didn't even like IPAs until recently, but India Pale Ale. It's delicious. It's very, very strong, but I like it. Got my sandwich over here, burning away. Kind of haphazardly on the rocks there. That'll be fine. This cheese is incredibly crumbly. You can't cut it at all, but friggin' delicious. Ready one piece? Good catch, girl. And I'll just do that for you. Nom 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 nom. Since I'm not shooting today, cheers guys. Happy camping. This is what it's all about. Forecast was for shit rain. Don't care. I'm coming out anyways. Mmm. It's almost like, oh, it's like juice. <laughs> crack between the rocks right there it just lets enough heat come up underneath it the bottom's warming it's getting all toasty like it's gonna be good Shenzi's cleaning off my camera case for me the rain has almost stopped it's just kind of spitting in the background here uh, yeah it's quite nice out I'm just gonna kind of keep the fire going here for the evening and sit under my little tarp right out the weather Try and dry my hat off, eat food, and drink beer. One night of relaxation before I go back to work, so Just take advantage of her. Ooh, that looks like, oh yeah, she's getting a bit, getting a bit over toasted there. It's okay, carbon's good for you. She doesn't have my carbon. Makes sense? Ooh. Pardon me. Ducks. Toasty. Sandwich is almost done toasting. I think this is basically going to be the body of this episode. Is me sitting under a tarp, eating and drinking all night. If you're not into that, turn this off now. Also, there's going to be lots of Shenzi because she's the only interesting go thing going on here right now. All right, I think it's time to try this sandwich. It's pretty hot. God damn, that's good. And now, delicious turkey Wookie cheese butter sandwich. Oh, that cheese. It's like a grilled cheese with turkey on a cheese bun, but with the finest white cheddar you've ever had. A little burnt there. That's okay. Oh wow, that is so good.
Look at that cheese in there. Mm. I'm going to enjoy the rest of this off camera. So the rain has basically completely stopped. I hope it stays this way. Just been hanging out under my shelter here the whole time. I'm going to give it a few more minutes. Just uh, relax under here. If the rain doesn't come back, I'm going to take advantage of this and head out and gather up a bit of firewood. But uh, this is quite comfortable now. Drying right out and uh, I'm feeling good. My hat's almost dry too. That's a super bonus because it was just soaked coming in. There's nothing I hate more than a wet hat. Got three more beers. That should last me the night. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this setup though. This is kind of my view right now. Down the old canoe. Big messy pile of stuff. I know it doesn't look too pro star, it's all shanty town here. But uh, I just brought a lot of stuff, so I'm comfortable. <clears throat> Bye. Yeah. See that wind is whipping pretty hard. You wouldn't know it here. We're uh, in between the canoe and the tarp here. There's a bit of a breeze coming through. It's cool, but nothing like what's blowing across that tarp over there. Today's firewood is brought to you by the Ontario Knives SP52. And this dead juniper. Gen 2 SP52 by Ontario Knives. It's a good little chopper. Stone dead juniper. Excellent source of dry cedar like wood on this soggy soggy day it's still raining well it's just raining on and off i gathered up some juniper over there and just hunched over under this canoe which is actually pretty comfortable it's better than no backrest at all and it's pretty dry enjoying some muskoka brewery unfiltered craft lager it's got a picture of the Kirby on the front. If anybody knows the story behind the Kirby, feel free to let me know, because I don't. It's good though. One more tasty beer. I'm just going to burn these juniper, it's ground juniper, low brush juniper, low brush juniper, whatever you want to call it. It burns like cedar and it is absolutely soaked. It's been out in the rain there all day. And you put it on the fire and it lights up instantly. So the bark's keeping the, uh, the inner wood dry, I think, and just toasty under here. Shenzi's taking a nap. Just watching the rain blow in and out. Pretty protected by the wind here. I hate this orange tarp. It's my least favorite tarp. Gray is good, green is good. Light brown, brown is good. Bright orange, I do not consider good. I've had the Samsung. What was I listening to? Some of you might know this. Little old Hank. Hank. I think I might get up and go for a little walk in a bit. I'll take the action cam. Yeah, if it's raining, tour you around the premises. Premises. After this beer. Fire's rolling away nicely. Keeping everything under here quite warm. Orange tarp is 
being orange. So there's the shanty town, Tarp Village. It has not been anywhere near as rainy today as I thought it would be. And that's exactly why I came out, because they are usually wrong. She's a natural grazer. Now the two main reasons I'm not shooting are one, the bugs are really bad in the bush and I don't want to go in there right now and deal with the bugs. I'm trying to have fun. And two, I can't just, even though it is legal for me to shoot from this area, unless I'm shooting a steel target load, I'm not just going to shoot across the water. This is a navigable waterway you can't shoot across it. Someone could paddle the canoe across here. Obviously, I am camped under someone's canoe. Now, this canoe has also been here for like 10 years. I've known about it for a long time, and this is one of the first times I've seen it moved and patched up with a little bit of duct tape, like someone's been uh, using it. Now, I don't think it'll float for more than two minutes. She probably takes on water pretty quick, but I'll make sure I put it back where I found it, and I'm not gonna damage it or anything like that great little way to practice a uh, canoe type shelter and it is I like it I think I'll use it more if I do any solo paddling trips you might catch me sleeping under my canoe this is uh, this guy's little duck blind maybe I won't show you exactly where I am on the map because I don't want to give away someone else's spot this is pretty sweet here comes the rain again he's got a little rock chair there you can sit in right behind these junipers. Throws his decoys out there in the water and shoots at them. Somebody shot at them. And he's got a nice clean shot of the ducks passing by. There's the rain. Oh boy. Better get the camera out of the rain. Come on, Shens. Come on. Good girl. Back to the shanty town. It's kind of like trailer park camping. I hiked out here, but I'm just hanging out under a tarp drinking a beer. The old TGV2. It's a good tent. It is very heavy. I bring a two person tent because the one persons are generally just too small to have a dog in there with you, especially a wet dog. So I always go two person. The four season was a one time I tried it with that and really living where I do in Ontario, I think unless you're up on top of Everest or something like that, summoning a mountain peak, you don't really need a four season tent. In the winter time I just sleep under a shelter, I don't bring a tent, there's no point. Tarp overhead's great or maybe a bivy sack if you're into that. Good girl. As you can see, there's a pile of duff in front of her kibble bowl there. She was trying to bury it earlier. I don't know why she does that, but goofy dog. She's a good girl. It's just a vacation. Put in a bit of work to get here and setting up and stuff, but I'm just relaxing now. Just relaxing. With old shanty girl. Dog eats food. Million hit video. Wet dog eats food. Two million hit video. Alright guys. So the evening's winding down. I'm on my last beer. Shenzi's taking a nap over there. What do we got here? Bitburger. It's a German beer. I like it. It's one of my new... <laughs> I guess I got a lot of new favorite beers, but I've been uh, drinking a lot of fancy premium beers lately, and they're all delicious, so I've got a lot of new favorite beers. No, this is uh, really good, though. I'm liking the German beer. I'm liking that Mad Tom IPA. There's another one, uh, Barking Squirrel. I didn't bring any of that, but it's pretty good, too. 
Shinzi's having a nap over there. Got the tarp opened up again. You can kind of see it underneath there. The back of the canoe opened right up. All my gear here beside me. And the fire. It's just a small fire. Looks big because it's right in front of the frame here, right in front of the camera. Just outside the edge of the canoe. This thing is just catching all the heat. The smoke is almost rolling out perfectly. A little bit coming back in here, but it's pretty tolerable. But yeah, I'm quite comfortable. I'm just relaxing here. Thinking about the work week. Letting go of some things. Just uh, happy to be out here with my dog. Hanging out under a random canoe. <laughs> uh, I was just in the tent digging out my flashlight and my headlamp and uh, it's quite comfortable in there. There's no breeze. It's just enough airflow to keep it from uh, getting stagnant and it's quite warm so I can't wait to unroll my sleeping pad, sleeping bag. I got uh, a blanket for Shenzi as I said. Curl up in there for the night, it's going to be nice. I'm on a bit of a slope, head uphill, so I might wind up with my feet against the back of the tent, but whatever. Out of all the places I could have possibly camped anywhere along the way in, I chose this one that has no level spot for a tent. But whatever. Sitting under the canoe has been luxurious. I don't know. I feel like I've spoiled myself here. I've got this extra piece of awesome shelter for free. <laughs> the bugs are starting to come in here a little bit. The odd mosquito flying in. The breeze is dying right down. So it could get buggy, but luckily I got the old fire here smoking me out to keep them, keep them at bay. So I've been snacking on some peanuts. This is my last beer, so I think I'm going to cook up some soup. Got some Campbell's chunky soup. Cook that up. Finish off this beer. Sit around the fire for as long as I can stay up. Have a bit of dessert. For breakfast, I got some oatmeal. I love them. Didn't bring any eggs this time, but I usually like an egg. Like a hard-boiled egg, even. Great way to start the day. And an orange cannot go without an orange. Every morning I'm camping, I don't care if I have to split it, I need orange. <laughs> it just starts my day. Something about that orange juice and pulpy vitamin C. Oh, I can't I can't start a day without it. More, more so than coffee when I'm camping, I think. An orange. I can go without coffee, not an orange. Anyways, I'll probably uh, fire up the flashlights when it gets dark and Say hi one more time before I go to bed. This isn't really an eventful trip of any sort. I guess it's just a vlog. A camping vlog. I mean, that's what we'll call it. Camping vlog one. There you go. Brainstorming. I just, uh, yeah, get so caught up shit that goes on in the work week, you know, customers that bother you, whatever. I come out here, it's still on my mind, but uh, I had some music playing in the background and just hit that kind of zen moment. Nothing worth worrying about out here. Cheers guys, see you in a bit. You can see how well this shelter is working right now by how much that tarp is flapping in the wind there. And you can probably hear the wind. And there's no wind noise on the microphone, I don't think. Maybe a little bit, but just perfect in here. I don't know if you guys can hear the spring peepers over the rain right now, but having a total double rainbow moment here. 
Got rain falling on the canoe and the tarp. Spring peepers peeping in the background. And the fire going beside me. So it's like a triple rainbow. The Campbell's chunky soup was delicious. The bit burger is gone. I'm just sitting here under this canoe right now, listening to the frogs and the rain. I think I'm gonna stoke the fire up one more time. I brought some little snacks for dessert. I'm gonna have those. Maybe a sip of water. And then uh, be heading to bed. It's crazy, it's just pouring rain right now. Like the wind is nuts. The wind is completely right back to where it was. And I'm in my own little my own little microclimate here under the canoe. I step out of this to go get a piece of firewood or something and the wind's just blowing. The rain is whipping off the tarp almost spraying me like a hose. It's not super bad right now, but it's definitely uh, coming and going still. It's quite wet out there between the drops coming off the trees and what's coming out of the sky. Anyways, I guess I'll see you guys in the morning. Yep. Yeah, I think I'll see you in the morning. Down, 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 girl. Good morning. I've just been having a nice, long, lazy sleep in here. Some geese honking around me and partridge drumming all morning. And the silent, not silent, the almost unnoticeable hum of mosquitoes clinging to my tent everywhere. The breeze has completely disappeared. There's no wind at all. I think it's going to be horribly buggy out, so I've just been really enjoying my tent time. Shenzi's very anxious to get up, but I am not. So you can see all the fur everywhere here. It's the result of one night camping with a husky shepherd cross. Uh, it's pretty good sleep though. Bit of an extreme angle on the tent here. Bit of an extreme angle on the tent here, but we made her work. Lindsay's all dried off. She's got a bit of schmutz stuck to her, pine needles and stuff. She always does. She's a good girl. She's a good girl. A good girl. Oh, you a good Shindy. You're a good camper. So I guess it's time to get up and slather on the musk all. Get a fire going, boil up some water, have a loat meal, have an orange, disassemble the shanty town here, and then sprint back to the truck through the mosquito woods. Good old camping buddy. Good old camping buddy Shans. Ooh, she's ready to go. She's ready to go. She's ready to go. Oh, shitty, shitty. Oh, shitty. Okay, okay. Alright. <laughs> See you guys in a bit. Also, if you were wondering what this choker looking thing around my neck was, it's my headlamp. It's how I sleep with it so that I don't wake up in the dark in a complete disorientated, in a completely disoriented panic looking for a light. I just sleep with my headlamp around my neck and I've always got a light right on me for those dark, scary moments at night. No, seriously, sometimes I just wake up completely disoriented when I'm in a, a tent in the dark, and uh, if I can't find a light, I'll cut a hole in it to get out, so. I sleep with my headlamp around my neck. Sue me. You ready to get up, Shenz? Shenz, you ready to get up? Shenz. Shenz. What you doing, girl? The bugs aren't too bad. 
they just must have congregated around my tent throughout the night. Definitely out though, there is no breeze here. Beautiful, well there's a bit of a breeze. I'm just sheltered from it. Just a beautiful morning. Pretty scuzzy looking pond water. Make sure we'll give her a, a good boiler here. I want to get it all out of there. Even though I'm going home, I don't want Giardia. 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 So I got the little Optimus one liter, one liter pot here. It's done a little edge boil. It's been going for a little while. Nice rolling boil there. Let her, go, let her go a little bit longer, make sure we kill all that Giardia out. I was just looking at some of the pictures I took. Um, <laughs> my gear is just this myriad of bright friggin' colors. It looks ridiculous. I'm not normally one for bright colors, but when it comes down to form or function, I generally choose function over form. I think a bug just flew into my fucking eye. I was stuck. Oh god. I'm a three pack type of guy. All maple, all the time. It's always kind of hard to guess how much water. Who all just throwing shit everywhere? Just getting excited. How much water you need? I think there's too much still. I like it sticky, but I don't get a second chance here, so. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. It's a little thin, but I think that'll, that'll harden up a little bit once we give her a good stir. Mm. Oh, perfect. Almost forgot about the orange. This is gonna be messy. time and then this orange juice all over me. Mm. Mm. Oh that is so good. Only way to start a day out here. I'm gonna finish this up, brush my teeth, throw all the rest of this crap in that backpack. This camera battery is almost dead, so I'll uh, probably flip on the old action cam for the walkout. Talk to you on that. Bye bye. I'm a mess. An absolute mess. Uh, double fisting. So I put the guy's canoe back where I found it there. 
no garbage, dump the rest of my water on the fire. <clears throat> Low impact camping. The only serious impact here is to my knees. Watch out, girl. No, this is nothing. I think we might be two kilometers in. I did not walk in that far yesterday. Maybe three. But I'm cutting it off at three. Oh, yeah. Now, getting out of here is always tricky. There's a big swamp and a big hill. And there's no path. What a great way to spend an afternoon and evening and morning. Oh, look, a bed. Interesting little spot. All sorts of people coming back in here camping. Look at that. Now this is why I say in the Crown Land shooting video, we're on Crown Land here. So, so far the spot that I went to, someone has camped at once already and hunts at. And someone has also camped in here. There's a bed. Here's an old fire pit. Looks like a, I don't know, it must have been a tarp over that or something. I don't know what that is. Maybe it's a bench. Bench or a bed. Big fire spot here. But yeah, there's, we're just in the middle of nowhere. There's no trail here. And there's uh, evidence of people being everywhere here. So this is not the spot that I come to shoot. That's really why another reason why I didn't shoot here. Because I know people use it a lot more frequently than other places that I go. And I just didn't feel like trudging through the rain to find a safe backdrop of the bugs and you know, being a bit of a Nancy. Oh, good hill here. It's a nice little hike. I do love this trail though. It's just a little one off. You won't find it on any map. <clears throat> this is why you have to come out and explore Crown Land. The first couple times I came out here, I just walked into the bush. I had no idea this trail was here. One day I eventually stumbled on it followed it and realized that it went all the way back to exactly where I was parking my truck. Could be a fun, easy access spot for someone to camp. Oh yeah, the bugs are bad. Mucky. Beautiful. Look at that. So green. Lush greenery. Come on. See, this is some serious, kind of what I consider bullshit here. It's crown land destruction. These trees were all live on this, what was an ATV trail. You've probably seen them all laying on the sides as we're walking up. That some group of deer hunters or I don't know, outdoorsmen that figure, figure themselves outdoorsmen. Came out here a couple of years ago and just hacked all these trees down along this trail. Now, this would not have been the government or logging industry because nobody leaves logs behind like this. Some group of friggin' idiots literally came through here with a chainsaw and just carved all these trees down. I don't have a problem with logging and cutting trees, but that's just fucking ignorant. <laughs> I'm sorry, like look at that. 
big stumps, two years old now. This whole row, all those fallen trees. There's just not enough conservation officers to catch these guys. By the time someone realizes it's happened, they're already long gone. A day later or whatever, the damage is done. It's just another reason that we need to be aware of the areas that we're using. We're not the only people out here. If everyone comes out here and does that, this place is going to be destroyed, wrecked. My little rock island there, ready to go. Go, folks. I was just gonna ride back there. The trip home. Keys still work. Truck still got power. Does it run? We're in business. Looks like we're going home, guys. There's that good old squeaky pulley again. Thanks for joining me again for this. Uh, short editing but probably overly long video hope you guys enjoyed it we'll catch you next time